Hi, I'm Jay, and this is a try-on bypass dial humidifier. We're going to do normal maintenance to it today. This maintenance is typically done either at the end of the heating season to get it ready for next fall, next winter, or in the beginning of the heating season. So let's start. First thing we want to do, turn off the power and the water. Be sure to turn the power off before performing any maintenance. Before performing this service, it is necessary to shut off the water. Find the saddle valve, turn it clockwise until it stops. Okay, let's get inside this thing. So this model has a latch on the top and the bottom. Yours might be different, but this particular one, again, there's a latch on top and bottom that you have to press to release. All right, now here we have our humidifier filter and there's a little latch here we have to lift up to get this filter out. All right, this little damper here, this bypass damper is in the way, so we're just gonna flip it out of the way and take this out, put that off there for a second. So here's the old humidifier filter. We're going to toss this out and clean this up and put a new one in. So now that we have this thing apart, a lot of models have a water distribution tray that's kind of like this, but it has small holes in it, and it goes on the top of the humidifier filter. Now this one doesn't have that, but if yours does, you're gonna to wanna to clean this portion up. This one has a tube that comes across the top that has like shower heads in it, and this will get some calcium on it. You want to kind of wash this thing off to get the calcium off of it. Also, all of them have a little drain pan on the bottom. This particular drain pan does not come out. Yours may or may not come out, but if it's removable, take it out and wash it. If it's not, you'll have to wash it in place, get it all cleaned up, and make sure that the drain hole is open in it. Okay, now that we have everything all cleaned up, we're gonna put it back together. So we're going to get a new humidifier filter, which we have right here. Now you'll notice there's a spray paint mark here. That's the top, it's only on the one edge, okay? So it's right here, that's the top. There is no front or back, it doesn't matter, but you do want this spray mark here on the top. So let's put that in. There we are, and here's the top. That goes up there. This one slides into a track here and here, and snapped into position. All right, that's that. Okay, now the bypass damper. We closed this to get it out of the way so we can have more access. So this is to be closed in the summertime and open like this, okay, in the wintertime. So we're getting this thing ready for the winter because it's fall right now. So it's now open and let's put the cover back on. All right. It's important that if you have latches on yours that you make sure that the latch is clicked into position because you don't want this thing falling off of your furnace in the middle of the night. Now, let's test it. Now that everything else is done, you can turn the water back on. Locate your saddle valve and turn it counterclockwise. All right, now that we have the water and electricity turned back on and the emitostat spun up to the highest setting possible and the furnace running, we're able to test it. So we can look here and this is normal operation. When this thing is running, there'll be water trickling down the drain. If there's water flying out of there like a fire hose, that's not normal, that's a problem. But Right now, the thing is running, and water, as you can see, is trickling down the drain, so it is working. Now, all we have to do is spin the emitostat down and make sure the solenoid valve closes and the water stops running, and we're done testing. Thanks for watching. For additional help or questions, feel free to contact us.